Welcome to Melbourne, where the practice session is about to start for this weekend's Australian Grand Prix. The pre-race talking is over. Now it's time for the drivers to show their worth. In total, the teams will be visiting 19 tracks this year, including some old favourites and two new locations. Well, I think the teams will be looking forward to the new Russian Grand Prix, which is being held at the Olympic Park in Sochi. It's a brand new track and a total unknown. We're also going back to Austria, which was last race in 2003, so this should be a lot of fun this year. This year's most significant change is to the loud thing behind the driver's head. Gone are the cries of the old V8 engines. In their place, monstrous torque from the new turbocharged 1.6-litre V6 hybrids. An efficient and exciting new power unit to usher in a new age of Formula One. The sport is trying to become a bit more fuel efficient, which is a good thing, but there are definite question marks over whether the new noise of these V6 cars are to the tastes of the fans. OK, this is Jeff. Can you hear me? Radio check looks good. System check looks good. Just want to say it's a pleasure to have you on the team, and I hope we have a lot of success together. Tell me if you need anything. Otherwise, get out there and show us what you've got.
Okay, Jeff here. Radio check seems good. Before we get started, I just want to tell you how much I'm looking forward to working with you. Your success is my success, so let's give it our all. If you need anything, just let me know. Practice times are not always indicative of qualifying or race day performance, but Nico Rosberg's P1 time is impressive, and I think he'll be right up there when he's back on the track tomorrow. Welcome to Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. We'll soon learn the true performance of these cars out on track. What can we expect to see in the following session? Well, I think we're all expecting the Mercedes power unit to be particularly strong this year, so I wouldn't be surprised to see them at the front. But I wouldn't discount Red Bull or Ferrari just yet. We know they have the talent and the resources to react to any problem, so although they may be playing catch-up, I would expect them to bring some major upgrades pretty early, maybe before we even get back to Europe. What a session it's been for Mercedes today. They've locked the front row of the grid for tomorrow's race. They're going to be unstoppable in the race tomorrow. That's if they can stay 1-2 by the end of the first corner, as there are some fast starters behind them. The crowd are here and they're here in numbers for the first race of the season. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. It's a great position for Lewis Hamilton to start the season from and one that he'll be hoping he can capitalise on and turn into a race win today. Well, we all know that Lewis has raw speed and if you give him a fast car, he'll win races. So if he can stay out front by the end of the first few corners, I'm sure he's going to be very difficult to beat. 
How does Nico Rosberg go about finding the time he was lacking at the end of qualifying in today's race? Well, he's got to stay within touching distance of the lead during the first stint and then look to capitalise as the car becomes lighter and the tyre degradation eases. Let's be patient going into turn one. We want to be in a good position for the rest of the race. Good luck.
the tank has 90 kilos remaining. Keep your focus. Everyone's struggling in these conditions.
five seconds ahead of you. Five seconds. The track is clear. Green flag. Easy on the aggression. We need clean overtakes or we'll face a penalty.